Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tanks Gaming today again with another Hearts of Iron 4 video where we play the Great War mod with the Netherlands. Just at the end of the last episode, my marine got upgraded, my marines get upgraded, and we are going to see how they fear now in this battle. Oh crap, just realized I didn't close my window, and hopefully no trucks drive by, otherwise there will be a lot of background noises. Of course this army is pretty beaten, uh, the troops are not on full strength anymore quite for, for some while now and of course I do not have the manpower to replenish that. Uh, world tension is actually going back down again which is a bit unfortunate as well because that way we cannot make our troops any stronger. <clears throat> they didn't get upgraded and of course first of all all my tanks are in first. That still sucks. My marines should come in first. Um. Marines attack. You're a higher level now, you should be... Oh, okay. The naval penalty went down quite a bit. There was a huge naval penalty and breakthrough penalty. And the Marines have... Not that bad. Not bad, that bad of a penalty. Well, we might be able to get it this time. I know I say this every, every episode and it never happens. <laughs> I'm still contemplating also if we should... Oh, we cannot justify war goal any, any longer. Oh, that sucks. I probably can still against uh, Italy. I could. Fred, the Italians are building up their Atlantic fleet. Uh, what did the Germans do? Army innovations. Great. So the army gets stronger, which kind of sucks for me on my border. The entrenchment is working like uh, pretty nicely, so Rhineland uh, around Köln, the trenches should be up to max level uh, rather soon-ish. Well, they actually are up to the max, which is Brandt. Uh, well, not yet completely, but pretty much. And then we have to build some more land forts. <clears throat> How is that attack going? Are still we are still losing of course well it's yellow greenish 90 days 70 days we might destroy here the 37 infantry division which would be nice i didn't lose the tank divisions yet uh you have more bonus afterwards why don't you have ah okay they're just not showing up because you can use them because you're not on land yet i see I see, that makes complete sense. We might destroy one division here. Might, it's not 100% sure yet. Would be cool if it would. Okay, my tanks actually flee. Uh, did flee because, yep, they suck. Well, yeah, well, they suck. They, they got destroyed. <laughs> one tank is already on the way back up, though. Which is not that good, actually. Okay, that research has been done as well. Uh, this is... Oh, this is all 39 tech as well. Uh, reinforcement rates get up. Research rates get up. I want more research. More faster research. Really? Why are you st still shown then? Ah, now it's gone. Perfect, perfect. <clears throat> and of course this attack is so slow going. How strong is this division? Like 13% strength strength left. Oh, my marines got hammered here. They're gonna fall back any second now as well. Come on, kill him. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, three full strength divisions. Well, not full strength, but a full organizations divisions coming back. And how else are you guys doing? Infantry type 2 defender. Uh, 9%. Strength is down to 9%. Might get it. Might get it. Might, might, might. It's very big might though. And over here, what's the Germans doing? Wunderwaffe. Really? What does Wunderwaffe imply? Well, they're going down this route, this route here. Research nuclear technology. You did the long knife, light of the long knives. 
Okay, and okay, you can try the Rhineland thingy. But they're not willing to do that for the moment. Uh, it's fully independent, the following will bypass the focus. Okay, I think they cannot go down this focus because I screwed them. Haha! <laughs> because I, l I own the Rhineland. And 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 the Moseland they have own troops in Moseland, so it's not a demilitarized zone any longer. It already never was a demilitarized zone because of the way I took territory. Okay, what's the Russians doing? Still nothing. The Brits still nothing. The French still defensive. Star Strata gems, really? Um, where the hell is that? There it is. Spirit disjointed government can send volunteer forces. Okay. Good for you. Good for you. Oh, this attack is not going anywhere. Ah, oh, come on. 2%, so stop it. All, everybody goes home. And then we're gonna give it another try. <laughs> we have the organization. Just gonna wait for the organization this time, though, to be back up. And I should be able to kill at least one division there. It's horrible how well this is working out for me. At least I haven't lost as many divisions as I did once when I played with Switzerland and started to rule the world. And I had to go into the Japan. That was horrible. I think I, I wasted like 50 divisions or so. I managed to land quite a couple of times actually, and then got thrown back into the ocean. And not in a way that I can send them back. Or I was crossing and my convoys got cut in the ocean and got sunk. Uh, lost a lot of divisions like that as well. So that really, really sucked. No national focus set. War with the USSR. You can't do that because war with the US. The USSR is not existing yet. I guess that's why befriend Japan, common turn pack, war, and now you're doing the war, uh, army innovations. Um, where is the war with the USSR? Which one would this war with France, befriend France, befriend Sweden, pop at the Ottoman. War with the USSR, he's trying to do that. But the US, the Soviet Union does not exist yet. Yeah. So you did the anti turn pack already. You could do the anti-Soviet pack now. I go the well, I bet you yeah, know you can't do that because it's not existing. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. So I could go for the MP. Yeah, that's not really necessary at this point. Um, we are going to go and get the hospital modernization, which will help out a bit. And we have another research slot available here, which should be and oh, that's 41 tech. That's all 38 tech. We could get better more mountaineers. Not really necessary right now. Uh, ship wise, that's 36 tech as well. So, okay. First of all, go back in here. We can get this one. Then we're gonna go back in here. We're gonna get this one. Then we're gonna go in here. And we are through with all of the 36 tech right now. Here we have another 36 tech. More factories. The 11th Olympic Games Summer Olympics in, held in Berlin, Germany. Well, medals, perfect. You go and do that. How are you guys doing organization-wise? Organization-wise, you're good, go for it. Ah, the research has been done rather quickly, which is nice. Me can't do that right, now, right away, though. Can do that, though. Perfect. So construction speed is going up quite a bit. And of course, I bet my tanks are first in again. Which is kind of unfortunate because they do not get the bonus. The marine bonus. On the other hand, the marines don't manage to land there either, so... What's the point of it then, right? Yeah, two out of three tank divisions went in first again. One is still in hold back. 
Ah, uh, and you did get back up to 19% strength, which is a bit unfortunate. I'm whittling you down again, but uh, that takes again freaking forever. Ah, uh, la la la. I cannot justify Wargol again because eh, no war tension created. World tension created by you guys. Well, tension is just going down the drain, and I'm still not able, I checked off camera by the way, uh, to change, I, I mean I have the power, but I cannot change it to like a um, uh, fascist or a communist person here to get my um, political opinion to the communist or the fascist side or anti-revolution or to the authoritarian. I do not have this possibility. And so I'm stuck as a communist, as a <laughs> democratic nation, and I cannot go in the mode that I can declare war without... You, there you see it, you can read it. Democratic Democracies can justify war goal, can't justify war goals against countries that have not generated world tension. Italy has generated world tension, and I would love to go at war to war with Italy, but I just can't. I don't have the opportunity to go through France. Well, I kind of do. I could, probably could get um, way of right. Uh, what's the word? Military access to the countries and walk through there, but not a hundred percent sure. Uh, not for a hundred. I'm not a hundred percent certain about that. Um, can get the next version of the fighters. I think I should do that. All this is researching, of course. I'm, yeah, manpower stuff. And, How's the fight going, guys? 11%. Also 11%. 16%. Just keep bashing on them. We might get them to defeat. <laughs> it's so frustrating! Uh, oh, it's looking over here. I would really love to generate a war goal against Germany right now. I should have done it last time. I had the opportunity to do so. We are, oh yeah, we are producing like infantry weapons 5, 4, well like 128,000 is still needed. Producing the light tank 2, which of still 4,700 are needed to upgrade to the maximum. And yeah, that takes forever. I have another 387 um, tanks, heavy tanks. I might should change one of those tank divisions over. Gonna let gonna let this uh, run this attack through though. Oh, five percent, six percent, twelve, twenty-one. Might kill two divisions here. My guess is, of course, they will replenish them as soon as they fall. They fall. They will send in new troops. Um, that's what I'm guessing. Uh, those are just marines. I really would like to switch over one tank division though. The one with the most experience. Yeah, probably the one with the most. Most manpower and everything left on. Or should I choose one of those and then just pull them out and send uh, the Black Army in as soon as we have landed? If we land, if we ever land, that's the other thing. <clears> Three percent. <throat> we might kill one division. Would be rather nice if we did. Organization is crap all over. Two more divisions with good, good-ish organization skills. But yeah, radar. Let's research the radar. Dad, um, you know what? Stop and go home. And go home, everybody. And oh, well, screw it. Uh, you're gonna be a heavy tank division. Heavy armor division, sorry about that. Yeah, here we go. Switch it over. It still have enough experience. I'm gonna wait till they are full again on... Uh, not experience, on motivation. Not a strong word. Risky. Some divisions are assigned to this invasion, are not in place yet. Everybody's in place yet. Advantage. Uh, organization. I'm waiting for the organization to reach 100% and then I send them out again. 
On the other news, we have enough points to check around in here. I didn't want to do anything with those guys. I could, like, switch you over to re-equipped infantry, which is for some reason better. I still haven't figured out why that is. What we could do is upgrade the heavy tank mark 1 to the next level. I don't think that's a good thing to do, though. Should I? How far? Like, 4? Nah, that's not enough points. I'm gonna wait, gonna wait, gonna wait with that. And I mean, in like 1940, I can build the next tank, right? Um, oh no, 39 actually already. I can switch over to medium tanks. 41 though is the next level of heavy tank. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait with that then. So how are you organization-wise? You are pretty good, so you should go. My marines are crap. They get battered. And beat the shit out of them. And let's see how the heavy tank division does in my attempt on landing on what's the name actually of this province? I know this whole area is Yucatan, but Yucatan naval base doesn't really tell me. That's okay. Details. Uh, hospital has been researched. That's all seven. Hmm, just 119 days though. However, in here we also have 38 tech. Oh, that's 38 tech, so okay, never mind then. 39, 38, 39, 37. Let's well, just go for it. You know what? The penalty is there, but just go for it. Come on, it's just 5% left. Kill him. My heavy tank hasn't started fighting yet. Light tanks are still. Uh, in print, not cannot be pierced. I was gonna say not be penetrated again. I don't know why I always go with penetrate. Probably because of like a dirty soldier's mind. <laughs> Come on, kill him! Four percent strength. They cannot get that back up. Just, just kill him. Just kill him. Go in. Would be nice if you could do that. What the Germans doing? Uh, naval rearmament. The Italians are doing Italian highways. The Spanish are doing nothing. French are doing nothing, United Kingdom is doing nothing, Russia is doing nothing. <sighs> I mean, I could use... A little bit. Boost party popularity again. Well, it's to, to a thousand down or so. You don't have any... <coughs> you don't have any elections, sorry about that. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, when we are down to a thousand again, uh, might get... How's Romanov? Like 50-50 chance, maybe start another queue. Let's see how that works out in it in, ja in, in ja Japan, in Russia. Ooh. Ooh. Zero percent strength, so you practically wiped out. Don't know why you're still in here. You got like 9% strength, 16% strength, and 17% strength. We should be able to land here. 84%. It's actually going up. Right? Does it tick to 85? Will it? Will it not? Uh, for, no, 79. Because they got the 112th Infantry Battalion uh, Type 2 in there. Ah, crap. Crappity crap crap crap. Still 21 divisions though. I'm gonna run it, let it run for a little while longer. Um, I mean those guys should be nearly done. 6%, 7%, 14% and... 15% and Yeah, I'm gonna let that run a little longer. It's green again for the moment. Really? 79% Probably will change to red in a second again. Uh, so how is that going? It's ticking up slowly, but it's another percent plus already. And the attack turned red again, and the attack is green again, so... Yeah, no organization left on my tank divisions. They should start to fall back rather soonish. I don't think that's going to be happening today. So let's see how it turns out. Oh well. Ah oh, no, look at that. My 
research for that has been done. Uh, this is no longer ahead of time because it is 37. Perfect. Which enables me to build some more factories. And you turned red again because... Got another strong division in there. Maybe. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until at least my heavy tank division had to get a, had, had had a go at it. And then we will see how that looks like. I'm still wondering how many guys do they have in there. Uh, that's all good. I could go for faster production. Yeah, I go with more construction speed right away. Go ahead. I mean, construction speed isn't bad. I'm nearly through. I'm starting to build stuff here. And... Um, Look at that. I can build a lot more civilian. I can build more civilian factories, but I think I want more military factories. Because I can. Can I build more down here? Oh, yes, I can. Each one I can build one. Can I build more over here? I do. I'm able to do that as well. Perfect. So, more military factories, always good. Because I do need more military factories. Not for reasons unknown, but I want to boost up my production of tanks and stuff quite a bit. And by the way, tanks and stuff. My heavy tanks in yet? Fry yet? No, it's still not in the fry. <sighs> I think I'm gonna try, gonna let this battle run dry, and then I'm gonna try to land up here north again. How many stuff did you build here? Three coastal forts and three land forts. And down here you have one and one and three entrenchment, though. Gonna try to land one more time here with all those guys and see how that works out. Just want to see if they can penetrate my armor or not. Okay, I did research that. I could go for close air support, or but I'm not going to do that right away. I'm going to go first... For more ref resource gain efficiency and stuff like that. And oh, what what is old? The fighters. Okay, fighters get a, get replaced straight away then. Come on, send the tank finally into battle. Normally I'm, <laughs> I was complaining that my light tanks always get up front. And now I want to see how my heavy tank is doing. And they're just not sending it in. I did destroy another another division though, and this division is going to be going as well. Those two divisions are going as well, rather quickly. Come on, now the three light cavalry troops going in, and then my heavy my tank division. That's good. That has been researched as well. So going for this one as next. Perfect. At the moment, I'm just going for resource gain stuff. Are you in there? You cannot be penetrated. No, cannot be pierced. Perfect. Uh, there's one armored division in there, which I can pierce, actually. That's this one, right? Division can pierce one of one. Which one is it? Oh, yeah, there it is. Light tank. I did send in a couple more divisions, so... Nope, stop that. H it, everybody go... H it, H it, everybody goes home. Everybody gets a new battle plan. So, okay... This area is still not, season is still not covered. No, it's not. But we can go to Yucatan. Uh, to the north there. So you go from here to here to here. Enter it. And you're gonna do it in like 28 days. Even though with an army like this, ooh, the army is pretty beaten up. I have to wait till at least half of the marines are back to, to full strength. I think, or I have to replace it. I've like to send marines back and the other marines over. I think I'm gonna do that off camera, guys. I'm gonna send my marines, the, the 24 strong army, uh, up here, bring it down here, and going to go <laughs> and change that out. Uh, but that's going to be something for the next episode. If you did like this video, please hit the like button. You can also subscribe to my channel or follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Links will be in the video description. And like always, guys, one more time, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.